Pasalamat po kami sa iyo, Mang Dagat, na bigyan kami ng grasya. Lahat minsan, wala kami pang sahod, ansahan na namin sa laot, o nagatinda ng isda, pamakyo ng isda, ganun din ang hanap buhay namin. Mamsa, yung tambakol, tulingan, tapos yung balatan, madami din. Mula pagkabata, malapit na po talaga ang loob ko sa dagat dahil nagmula at lumaki po ako sa bayan kung saan maraming maipagmamalaking isla. Malaki rin po ang pagpapahalaga ko sa dagat dahil isa po ito sa mga tumulong sa pang-araw-araw naming pamumuhay. Unlike them, hindi po ako lumaki sa tabing dagat but I remember the first time I saw it at yung momento po na yun ay nastuck sa aking isipan and that's probably the reason why I joined this project. With all these reasons, our team, along with our research advisor, decided to research or explore more about sea creatures, specifically sea cucumber, o yung tinatawag po nilang balatan. As you can see, ito po ay isa sa mga pinagkakitaan ng mga Pilipino, especially when exporting outside the country. Sa katunayan, we were one sa top producer of dried sea cucumber in Southeast Asia. This marine animal looks exactly what's its name after, pipino ng karagatan. Naging tanyag ito sa mga eksperto dahil sa taglay nitong mga bilbisyo. Ginamit po namin ang seaweeds, seagrass at artificial feeds bilang pakain upang makahanap ng bilis at mabisang paraan sa pagpapalaki ng sea cucumber. Naglaan din po kami ng isang setup para sa control upang may pagkumpara ang pagbabago sa mga treated setups. The sea water for setup was changed every day and continuously aerated while the sun was changed every fortnight throughout the whole 10-week experimentation. The weight and length change of the sea cucumbers were recorded weekly. The reason why we focus po kami sa growth and survival ng sea cucumber is because na current no overexploitation causing supplies to decline and its value to greatly decrease. We also want to point out po na why not find sea cucumbers or any other sea creatures and leave the wild ones alone. Ang nakala po namin data were analyzed using one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA. Weight gain, specific growth rate, was computed for its growth, showing that the setup treated with seaweeds has the highest gain weight, which is supported by the study of Amit Boha and others, 2017. While sa land change naman po, the setup treated with seagrass has the highest gain length, which is also supported by the study of Pudino and others, 2020, that showed that the debris of seagrass can be a potential food source to enhance the growth of sea cucumbers in aquaculture. In conclusion, ang seaweeds and seagrass ang pinakamabisang pakain in terms of weight gain and land change ng sea cucumber, respectively. Throughout our experimentation, discover po namin ang mga benefits ng balatan sa marine ecosystem, sa tao, and future research studies, especially the medicinal industry. Kaya naman po, para sa mas ikauunlad at ikakaganda ng research na ito ay maaari sa pumagitan ng pag-explore ng reproduction ng sea cucumber through hatchery and sea ranching. Ngayon din po ang mas advanced at funded equipment para sa madali at mas maayos na pananaliksik. Ako po si Zilina Signacion. I am Marivirio Florido. At ako naman po si Bridget Ace Militar. Kami ang Team Balatan. At umaasa po kami na marami pang sea creatures ang mabigyang pansin. Hindi lamang ang sea cucumber dahil napakalawak ng potensyal ang maibibigay ng ating yamang dagat.